up you guys welcome to my channel and today's video is going to be about Huey P. Newton like I told you guys I'm starting a series where I want to tell you guys about an African-American figure who has done great things for the community at least two times a week so this is the second person if you haven't seen the first video about Fred Hampton go ahead and click the link that I'm putting in the video or in the description about it but anyways I'm gonna bring out my trusty book and get my notes ready so if you just want the basics and just tell you Huey P. Newton is the founder of the Black Panther Party what? yes and he's done some amazing things so let's start off in 1942 he was born in Monroe Louisiana he was named after Huey Long his family moved to Oakland during World War II seeking like family um, economics like you know better economics I guess you'd say if I'm making sense better economic opportunities he attended Merritt College and there he met Bobby Seal they fought to that to put more diversity in their both the curriculum and the staff because you can probably assume the teachers were white so where was the black teachers all the classes taught was you know centered around white history, white people, white successes, where's the black history, where's the black success, which is something we still need to fight for today. But anyways, so correct, you could correct me if I'm saying this wrong, but I'm about to read this off of here. Um, later, Newton developed a Merrickst, Lin, Linist perspective. He basically viewed the black community as like something being controlled by an external power. So an in an internal an internal colony controlled by an external power, if you pick it up what I'm putting down. So IE he means like the police, the school systems, the city hall, a white businessmen, etc. So around October 1966, Newton and and Bobby Seal they formed the Black Panther Party, which was, of course, as you know, started in Oakland, California. That's the first chapter, Oakland, California, where he became the Minister of Defense and one of the main leaders, of course. Newton was the person who wrote the 10 point program, which I'm sure you've heard about. If you haven't heard about it, look it up. It's pretty cool. If you've seen The Hate You Give, they mention the 10 point program in that movie also because that's the founding document of the Black Panther Party. In ways. He said that black people need the power to determine the destiny of the black community and that that power would allow us to gain land, bread, housing, education, clothing, justice, and peace. In October of 1967, Newton was arrested because of a shooting between the Black Panther Party and the police department which resulted in the death of a police officer so yes Newton was arrested because of that but many people formed a free Newton type of campaign situation led by Mr. Cleaver Clever uh, El Eldridge Clever Cleaver sorry if I'm butching that <laughs> um um and he was the party's minister of information. So Newton was the minister of defense and he was the minister of inf information. With the help of Charles R. Gary, they were able to get him out. So he was released in 1970. But the tough part is he did help contribute to the demise of the Black Panther Party which is a little, you know, boom, he makes it, boom, he almost destroys it. He led like a lot of purges of party members. One of the most big, or uh, one of the most big slash important ones that he led was the Newton Cleaver split, Clever. I really should have just look that up, but I'm not going to, sorry about that. Where, you know, Cleaver, Clever was expelled. So now in 1974, Newton was accused of the assault of a prostitute who later died. That's rough. And instead of standing on trial, he fled to Cuba. 
because he was like, I'm out of here, no peace, like, I'm hopping on this boat, I'm hopping on this train, and I'm heading out. Bye. Anyways, he did return in 76. He stood trial and was acquitted. So, in 78, he enrolled in University of California, Santa Cruz, where he earned his doctorate. So he was still out here trying to make moves, you know what I'm trying to say? He took some stumbles, but he was still trying to make some moves, which he got his doctorate in the 80s, by the way. Later, his desperation, War Against the Panthers, a study of repression in America, was published as a book. But in August, of 1989, Newton was killed in Oakland during an alleged drug deal. Could he have been buying drugs? He very well could have been. Maybe he wasn't buying drugs. Maybe it was a setup. I don't know. I didn't do enough history. But that's what I did this video for. I'm gonna show you guys just a little bit of a taste and now it's up to you to go out and try to look up some more stuff about him. Did I interest you enough to wanna know more about Huey P. Newton? And if I didn't, tell me what I can do to interest you because this is what? Black History Month. So, I'm gonna keep coming at you guys with these videos. I'm gonna keep showing you guys why it's important for us to learn black history. Now we have done great things and we've done some bad things, but I feel like our good outweighs the bad and it needs to continue outweighing the bad. And we can't let people keep trying to oppress us and trying to tell us your history is slavery because that's not where our history starts and that is not where it's gonna end. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Go watch my video on Fred Hampton that I did earlier if you wanna learn some more. And stay tuned for this Black History Month series. And I might do this for a longer time if you guys enjoy it because I think we need to learn about ourselves. Peace.